Three green eyes, I have three brown eyes. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 movie Rocket Raccoon and Groot from the Mantis Build a Figure Wave. If you're trying to pick up this set, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So, we get a brand new Rocket Raccoon over here with two head sculpts. We get another toddler Groot, and we get most of Mantis right over there. Anyway, Anyway, on the side you can see Rocket, and then on the back you can see some product shots. There's a read-up over here, if you want to read it, pause it now. There's the other figures from the wave, and we have a little cute Groot right over there, and then there's a Guardians logo at the top, and not much more at the bottom. Let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Rocket and Groot out of the packaging, and I really like this Rocket figure a lot. This is a very good Rocket figure. I was able to get him standing without leaning on the tail, uh, but you know, most of the time, especially on a turntable like this, I'm going to have him leaning on the tail. I think this is a very good figure. I really like it a lot. Much improved compared to the first Guardians of the Movie Rocket figure that we had gotten. Also, we get a very cute little Groot right over there. It's a cute little Groot and he's so cute. But anyway, let's get a closer look at Groot and then we'll get a closer look at Rocket Raccoon. This is an adorable little Groot, isn't it? Very nice paint apps on this, by the way. I mean, we get some very nice black over the brown right here, some nice green on top. Kind of looks like a rose, and the way this is all sculpted in right over there. And very nice wood right over there for the Groot. I like it. Nice little gold on him, too. Nice paint apps. You can get that little zipper. We get tiny little wrinkles. Seriously, a lot of nice little details with this very, very tiny piece. I mean, it's a very small little figure right here. There's the bottom of his feet. I do have a hard time having him stand sometimes. I did have to use a little bit of wax to get him on that rotating base. But he will stand on his own if you have a flat enough surface. But looking on the back right there, looks pretty good. I do like how the eyes came out. I think this is better than how it came out for uh, the TRU uh, large Groot head sculpt. If you remember me talking about that, I, I thought they had gotten the iris uh, mixed up and everything. So I think this is actually more accurate. Even though, uh, from what we'd seen in the movie, his eyes are just mostly all black. So I don't know. What, what do you think? It would have been cuter if they just painted his eyes all black. Uh, it could have been. It, his eyes do look... A little beady but it still looks cute. Then for Rocket's accessories, he comes with these two guns right here. I would have liked for him to come with a larger weapon than just these two little guys, yeah, but they do look good, you know? Nice silver paint over the black. I think that looks very clean. I'm liking that. Well, not very clean, but you know, it looks very rugged. I, I like how it looks rugged. Clean in the sense of like, good looking is what I mean, you know? Yeah, because it's definitely grimy looking right here. But I like that a lot. And each of these go into his hands fairly easy. He has a trigger finger sticking out of each hand right there. So that makes life a little bit easier getting him to hold these. So I appreciate that. See the same thing on that side right over there too. That looks really good. I apologize, Rocket. Shouldn't have called you Rocket Raccoon. He just likes Rocket, right? The movie version's Rocket only. But anyway, looking at the head sculpt, I think it looks really good. We actually get two head sculpts, which I'm very grateful for. Uh, this is the one I prefer out of the two of them. He's all angry and he has his mouth open. I mean, look at the details on the teeth right there. That is fantastic. Fantastic, even have the tongue painted really well in pink. The gums look really good. I really like that yellowish color that we get right there. The nose looks great. Very clean deco on his snout and everything. I love the eyes. I love the paint for his fur right here on the head, and that just looks really good. And it's very easy to pop off and replace with the more relaxed rocket head sculpt. Um, yeah, which looks alright, you know, eh, not too bad looking. Got the teeth showing right there. You yeah, know, looks like rocket. So, there's nothing wrong with this, I think. I think it looks very good. I just like this one a whole lot more, you know? I like seeing an angry rocket raccoon. Even though this does trick me into thinking that it's articulated, but it's obviously not, or else why would they have included two different head sculpts? But again, the paint is very good on this. I like it a lot. And then looking at the rest of the figure, we get some nice details right over here. The zipper, these little silver pieces right there. I'm liking that. Very nice blue color, looks very accurate to the movie, from my memory anyway. And then looking right here, we have some lighter colored fur over the darker fur. Not looking too bad, like that. And we get some knee pads right here. We get some furry little rocket calves, little rock 
toes, not looking too bad, a little rugged toes. And then he has his tail right here, which I think could have been a little bit fluffier. I, I don't know. I, I just, for some reason in my mind, I feel like this should have been a fluffier tail. But, you know, I like the little stripes that we get right over there. Not too shabby. He does have peg holes under his feet. That's not too bad. And then there's the rocket butt. And you can see some of the paint chipping or uh, some of the blue paint didn't make it onto all of that hinge right there. Then here's looking at the back, not looking too shabby at all. Now, like I said earlier, you can stand the figure without leaning on the tail, so that's pretty good. I like the articulation on this guy. I wish his head could move up a little bit farther, though. That, that's only, uh, that's, that's still a bit frustrating. Neither head, you know, can move up higher than that. Uh, you can move the head down just a little bit. You do get side-to-side -side rotation right here, and you do get some pivot. You could also half it on this ball joint, too, so he will look up a little bit more like that if you want him to. Uh, shoulders move outward that much, and they move downward. They rotate 360 uh, you get a single jointed elbow that bends in that much and it swivels and then you get a swivel at the wrist you have a diaphragm joint that turns side to side moves forward that much back just that much and you get a little bit of diaphragm pivot then he has hip joints right here which I think this is awesome you get these little leg joints so you can kick outward that much and kick forward that far and back that far uh, yeah just back that much and then we get a mid thigh cut he has a single jointed knee and then he rotates at the knee Knee, and then he also rotates at the ankle and then his tail hinges up and down and you can rotate the tail as well And I guess just remove it if you'd like now measuring out these little figures You can see the little baby Groot or toddler Groot anyway is at about an inch and a quarter high and then looking at rocket He's just a little over three inches tall and then comparing the two toddler Groots with our two rockets over here You can see this is the TRU exclusive version of the little Groot and then here we have the previous movie version of rocket and man This is so much better better even though he's a little shorter which doesn't really bother me too much but yeah just a much better figure right over here and which one out of these two do you think is cuter I don't know I'm kind of liking this one a little bit well I know they're both very cute and then here we have Rocket and Groot next to some other Guardians volume 2 figures we have Yondu, Drax, and Star-Lord I guess Nebula counts as a volume 1 figure actually right anyway but here's Rocket and Groot compared to the other two figures from this wave that I've already reviewed and then here they are next to the Marvel Legends big time no let down Spider-Man and here's Rocket and Groot with Rocket on a Mafex stand it looks pretty good, man. I like this rocket figure. I wish we did have more ankle articulation, but hey, this thing is so small, dude. I'm not really that surprised that they couldn't get more than just a swivel on those ankles right over there. And the little Groot does tend to fall over a lot more than I'd like him to, so that is a bit frustrating. Uh, one thing uh, that I did try off camera was putting a new head sculpt on the old body and it doesn't work. The ball peg right over here doesn't match so you'd have to dremel this out to really get that to stay on there if you wanted to do something like that. But otherwise I really like these figures a lot man. These are very cool little figures. I, I dig them. Now they do come with the largest part of the Mantis Build-A-Figure which isn't even that large of a Build-A-Figure. So paying 20 plus dollars for a very small piece like this for not that much plastic I think it's going to make some people irate. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. However, uh, this is a very well articulated figure, so you're not getting garbage. It's a really good piece, but at the same time, uh, you're not getting a whole ton. But still, I am pleased with it, and I do pick up my Marvel Legends by the wave load. So, uh, overall, I think it's a fairly decent wave. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the review. Let me know what you think of the figures. Also, if you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see more Shardimus Prime videos coming your way. And if you've already subscribed and you have not yet hit the notification bell, please go ahead and do so so you know immediately when the next Shardimus Prime video is posted. And I gotta give a big thanks to all these people over here for keeping this YouTube channel afloat while YouTube is going through crisis right now with advertisers dropping out. Definitely not an easy time being a YouTuber. And then if you want to see a photo gallery of images, it's all over at MarvelousNews.com and you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the description below. I'll catch you guys later! Peace. I'm gonna play with the toys today Well, I don't care what my people say I'm gonna play with my toys today Man, I wanna gotta get them all Time to make a trip to the local mall Oh, yeah! That's crispy. My shot, my shot, my shot in your face I said my shot, my shot, my shot in your face I said my shot, my shot, my shot in your face I said my shot, my shot, my shot in your face